a prop is a wear item, and I know it sucks, especially with a Yamaha trying to break that thing loose is a monster. I literally broke a vice in half trying to break, uh, trying to pop a prop loose off of the shaft. So uh, Yamaha puts those things on tight, but you need to check your check the leading edge of your prop regularly. All right, it's a service item. It's a wearable item, like your brake pads and your tires. It's a wear item. So get in there, get a good flashlight, look at the leading edge, you know, the front edge of the blades on your prop. Make sure that they're not jagged. They should not be serrated. They shouldn't look like a steak knife. They shouldn't be bent over. They should have a nice, even, you know, a nice, even edge all the way around. If not, you can, you got to pull that prop out. Either replace the prop, or if you got a guy that you trust, have him straighten that prop out and have him machine the edges of it but that prop does need to be in proper shape all right and here's where it gets really important a damaged prop also causes vibration it calls what they mechanic is a mechanical harmonic all right it it it, it, it actually crazy cr creates like a, a a harmonic a vibration and that that vibration that imbalanced propeller or excuse me imbalanced impeller can cause a lot of wear. And we're going to talk about wear rings, but it can also cause wear on the bearing, all right, on the hull bearing, if it's a Yamaha or a Cowie, on the carbon seal, if it's a Sea-Doo, and the out or the output shaft out of your engine. And now you got a major problem. So again, please pay attention to your prop. I know it's a pain in the butt. It's a massive, massive pain in the butt. First, to crawl underneath your crawl, crawl underneath your trailer, or have the ski on a rack, or have it in the air, or whatever you have to do. Get a flashlight. Look in there. Look really tight. But and of course, it's a super big pain in the butt to change it out. But it is one of the most crucial items on that on your watercraft is wear rings. Um, not so much for the stainless guys. Not so much for the Cowie and the Yamaha guys. But for the Sea Doo guys. Wear rings are a wearable item. It is a it's a replaceable item. Okay, uh, the reason why Sea Doo has a plastic wear ring is so that you don't have to replace the props so much. So in case something comes in, the wear ring takes the damage, not the prop. Okay. Well, they think pulling the wear ring out and leaving the prop B is a lot easier. I agree, especially having messed with so many of them. Okay, uh, now changing wear rings suck. It's, it's a chore, all right? And it's going to take the better part of your day, but it's well worth it, okay? But if you're seeing a wear ring, here's where it gets a little interesting. If you see a wear ring that the prop itself is causing actual wear and damage on it, that means that there is something else happening that the prop is not centered and it's oscillating and it's starting to chip and eat away at your wear ring. If that's the case and you're not mechanically, you know, either your time is too valuable working and doing other things, or you simply are not the kind of guy who's going to get in there and do it yourself, get that ski to a dealership. I'm telling you right now, or to a mechanic that you trust who's certified. The reason being is that, and speaking specifically about sea dews, is that your carbon seal, if your wear ring is wearing out and it's not because some wood got in there or, and it's, or a rock or some pebbles, but you're seeing that the prop is oscillating and it's it's got to be more than you know a tenth of an inch. I mean, the prop's going to oscillate a little bit. Don't get me wrong. But if you're seeing like three-eighths of an inch, you're in trouble, okay? So um, what that means is that the shaft itself is loose and the prop is oscillating, and that means that, um, let's do it this way, all right? Here's, here's the engine, here's the prop. If the prop's moving around, it's, it's a big range of motion at the tail, but if your carbon seal is right here, it might not be as drastic as the tail, but it's enough that it's eating away at your wear ring, at your carbon seal, excuse me. So again, pay attention to your wear rings. Okay, your wearing, especially you, you see, do guys, that's a telltale item. All right. So again, pay attention to that. And if it's just time for service, replace it too. Why is it important?
because as water flows through your pump, Pat, you know, this is your drive shaft and here's your prop. As water is passing by, you want as smooth of a, of, of a, of a process uh, and the least amount of, of cavitation as possible. Okay. Cavitating water is water not producing, is, is useless, useless processed water. It's not thrust. It doesn't translate into thrust. Okay. And you want to maintain as much th consistent steady thrust as possible all right cavitation is how i would I, I would jokingly say it's like if your tires kept slipping and you kept chirping the tires all the time it means you don't have traction okay so again you want to you want to make sure that your prop and your wear ring in the inside of your pump are nice and smooth and machine surfaces super clean that there's no agitation of the water going through and that everything is working really smoothly okay hey guys Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.